Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you manifestors out there. It is time for your daily love nugget. I thought I'd give you a love nugget with a sunset view. How about that? My name is Cabrini Schneider. I am the creator of Cabrini's Law of Fuck That. Fuck That stands for finally understanding common knowledge. Things happen all the time in life and in business, good and bad. So why not do what you want to do? Stop doing what you don't want to do because things are going to happen anyway. Oh, boy, I tell you, as black Americans, we have had, well, we've had 200 years of, of, of um, some amazing things to happen to us. Um, and let me preface this. Hold on a second. Okay. Hey. So let me preface this by saying, yes. Right now, today, in this time, black lives matter. This is not to say that life, white lives and Chinese lives and Korean lives and Muslim lives. We're not saying yours don't matter. We're saying ours has never mattered. So right now, we're trying to take a stance on our life. And we're trying to really come collectively together to say, stop killing us. Again and again. And, okay, wait a minute. Let me, let me say this. You could kill us. That's fine. You could, you could do that. But how about maybe the people that are doing it that we could see you on video. How about maybe you could get punished for it. I mean, don't make it so blatant that you can kill an innocent life and get away with it. So my love nugget today is about... Changing the momentum. Now, what do I mean by changing the momentum? I mean that right now, the talk of the town is about the killings and the murders and and all the things that have happened. I would like for us to change the momentum. I I my it is my intention that somehow I am able to use my voice to inspire you to look deep within, to get to your inner core, and to change the momentum. Collectively, as black people, not black people, I'm talking to you, and I'm talking to the white people that love us. We can make a difference by the things that we do. Now, killing other people, going within your community and destroying it is not going to make a difference. Um, shooting police officers is not going to make a difference, people. But what really hurts... What really hurts the white people that are are um, allowing these things to happen to us is when you mess with their money. Now, I don't know. You know, I've heard so many different um, stories about the the statistics of black people and the fact that African Americans we make twelve percent. If the numbers are correct, twelve percent of the population in the United States. Did y'all know that? Now, if we make twelve percent and twenty percent of us are being killed. By white people, you know, that's huge. That's a large number. That means that they're trying to wipe us out. Well, it goes to show you that it, it, that cannot happen. So back in the day when Rosa Parks decided to not ride the bus, she got a collective um, momentum going, right? Let's keep with the momentum thing I'm talking about. She got a momentum m- momentum going and... They didn't ride the bus. Well, clearly back then, she did not have Target. She did not have Coca-Cola and the Koch brothers. She didn't have Hennessy. She did not have all the things that we are using. Black people, you are using the hair products and making the Chinese people and the Korean people very rich. Now, this is your responsibility now, I'm, I'm allowing what's coming through me to come through me and just share this with you. So y'all going to have to take it or not. I don't, at this point, I don't care because I'm hoping that it will somehow penetrate your core. There are black people that make hair. Okay? You don't have to just buy from the Koreans and the Chinese people. Hennessy drinkers, don't drink the Hennessy. Get something else. You know how much money you are making these people? When we decide to to really collectively find black businesses, we can empower each other. Have you guys heard of the Black Wall Street that was in um, uh, Greensville? Uh, You know, I hate when this happens to me. You know, that's what happens when you get old. You start forgetting shit. I just read about this. Um, 
the Black Wall Street that we had where we were, um, we had our own, we had our own little city. I mean, we were extremely wealthy. And do you know that the community of white people came together and within minutes they were able to burn down and slaughter black Americans. Now, I want you all to look that up, Black Wall Street, and read about it. Now, five months later, do you all hear me? Five months later, they got together, those, of, those ones that were not killed, they got together and they built it back up. Now, that's when the government decided to do desegregation. So at that point, now, black people were able to go other places. So their money started being dispersed in other places. What I am saying to you, what I'm, when I'm talking about a collective change the momentum, what I'm saying is, if we can collectively change the momentum of this negativity, take your money and put it where it makes a difference, which is within the black community, then we will start to see a change. So, I am saying to you, if you want to see change happen, we, it has to start with us. We have to change the momentum, and it is not through anger. It is not through fighting. You know, Martin Luther King tried very hard to um, uh, create a nonviolent um, uh, community where we could, as black people, make a difference. We don't have that voice right now, and Black Lives Matter is trying really hard to create that momentum. But it's up to us. You know, I had my sisters telling me about, you know, well, anyway, they're telling me about Target and, you know, there's, anyway, I'm saying that we have to find a way to make our voice heard and it's through hurting people in their pockets. It's through taking your money and putting it in black pockets. That's how you make us all wealthy where we have our money. That means that you find black businesses online. Hello, you guys are on Facebook every day. You can find the black grocery store in your neighborhood. You can shop online. I'm just saying, get, you, you, we can make a difference. We really can. 12% could really, we could show that in numbers, we are really powerful. You know, um, I, I'm not going to lean towards the negative side. I'm only talking about the positive side of what we can do. Change the momentum, people. You know, Cabrini's Law of Fuck That is all about helping you connect to your inner core, which is where all things live, all things positive live. That's that God space, whatever God you serve, that's that happy place that we have forgotten where it lives. We've, for, we've forgotten how to tap into it. So I'm saying to you guys, take your money and put it in the black community. That's how we change the momentum. I love you in that huge agape way, and I look forward to talking you to, to you tomorrow. Today is Sunday, the day before Monday. What momentum will you change? Say fuck that and take your life back. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.